Most camping appliances these days are associated with a big budget, but there are some cheaper options like the Kings, and in today's video, we're gonna be testing and seeing how bad can they really be. Whoa, 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 before we get into this video, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. We are so close to a thousand subscribers and I'd really appreciate it. All right, so here is my King's 85 litre upright fridge. The reason why I went for the King's fridge is because yes, it is cheap, but they can be a bit of a hit or miss. And we found this out with the old ones because we run them in our work cars. With the old ones, they didn't have the compressor that this one has now, and they have very thin insulation on the inside, causing the fans to turn on a lot, which can stuff them out. We had my old man's fridge stuff out, and it wouldn't go below 15 degrees, and mine has actually been perfect. So it's a bit of a hit or miss with those ones. But these have recently had the upgraded compressor, which is a C-Corp compressor, and that is the same one used in the Waco. So I thought it, must be, it has to be better if the Waco are using them. But the only problem is it draws a little bit too much amperage. Now, you could say it is because it's in a hot black canopy all day long. And when it's on, it doesn't get much ventilation. So the fans always need to kick in because the fridge is getting hot itself. So basically what happens is if the fridge feels like it's getting too hot and it needs to adjust the temperature, the fans will kick in to just make sure the temperature stays at what you set it at. As you can see on the inside here, this is how we basically set up the fridge. The fridge is awesome because you can put drinks all at the bottom and you can put your sauces, your meats, whatever at the top here. And that also has the little freezer. One downside I have about this fridge is that you can only set it to zero degrees. You can't go any lower. And sometimes it doesn't get the drinks ice cold on the inside, but sometimes it does depends on the day if it's hot if it's cold i also want to say i actually i installed this mirror it doesn't come with the mirror i mainly have it for my girlfriend because she likes to brush her hair and all that sort of stuff and i'm the one mainly the one that uses it to be honest let's be real but anyway ever since i've finished the train canopy i've had this fridge in there and i haven't had one problem with it i always leave it running i literally don't turn it off because i've got the solar panel and the lithium battery I just keep it running because a thing with fridges, if you don't leave them open for long enough after you turn them on, they stink. Like, it's so bad. They stink so bad. So I leave this one running the whole time and I've never had a problem with it. This fridge, when I bought it, I think I bought it for about $500. I can't really remember now, but they had a special on. So I bought one. And the reason why I chose this over a chest fridge is, again, because on the inside... You can stand everything up. Your drinks don't go flying around. I had so many like um, dips and all that sort of stuff break in my chest fridge. So like I had the Dorito salsa stuff break while full driving because um, shout out to you, Shayla. You decided to put that in there even though I didn't want it. So yeah, that broke while full driving. But I have taken this. I've had this on all the tracks at Bendelby Ranges and nothing has broken on the inside because you can hold it in the correct place place like that and it doesn't flop around they're not they're not hitting each other while you're going around like on the chest fridge is how they're all stacked up so now i'll jump over to the other side and i'll show you what it is drawing off the battery all right guys as you can see we're in the back of the canopy now and i'm about to show you how much amps this thing draws so i'll put this over to the 40 amp setting on the multimeter we'll put the amp clamp around the positive wire it's hard to do with one hand come on all right, this fan, this fridge right now is drawing 3.37 amps and it's rising 3.38, 3.39. That is a lot. A fridge at this state should only be drawing about 1.5 amps because it's not cycling. That is a big difference. So when, it, when a fridge is at this state, like a Waco, an Ingle, uh, whatever you have, uh, yeah, it should be drawing around 1.5 amp hours at this state. And right now, this is drawing 3.37. And as you can probably see on the screen, we got it at 3.6. And that was with the door shut when it was a bit hotter. So the fan is running the whole time and it needs the fan running the whole time. Otherwise, these fridges suck. So yes, it does draw a little bit more power, especially the older models. The older models draw even more power than this one. This has a different compressor, but they still a ridiculous amount of power being used compared to one of the other fridges like a Bushman, an Engel, or a Waco. Although it does draw a bit of current, 
Um, you can see here the King's Lithium battery is more than enough to keep up with this fridge. So if you have the right battery set up, it is all okay. It is just because the insulation on the inside isn't as good as other fridges. Like now, I can't hear the fans on because it is not as hot and the fridge is keeping up with it. But if you're in a super hot location without much ventilation, maybe with the, even with this closed, with like the door closed and no air coming in, it does tend to heat up a little bit. As you can see, my battery is at 13.4 and that is really, really good for how it is at the moment. I've got the solar panel on the roof and the fridge running. I can turn all the lights on, the accessory socket and all that. It's not dropping. So that's another testament to the King's lithium battery and any lithium battery out there. They are just awesome. So the real question is, are the King's fridges actually any good? And the answer is yes. The King's fridges are good as long as you get the one with the newer style compressor. The newer style compressors are the ones that are the black sort of color. The ones that are the blue and gray color have the older style and they are the ones that draw a lot of current and they are the ones you shouldn't be using because they do tend to fail. But this style of fridge is actually really good and yes, you should buy it if you, have, if you don't have enough money for the Bushmans or something like that. This is the perfect excuse to buy a fridge. It does the exact same thing. But if you do you have the money, just go the Bushmans or something else like that because they are they are the top notch. They are they will last you 30 years like Ingle fridges and all that sort of stuff. They last you so much longer. These are built on a budget, but they do do the job. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.